multi-step rate problems. Five farmers consumed 120 chickens during a four-hour meal. For the same chicken eating per farmer per hour, what would be the total cost of appetizers excuse me, consumed by four farmers during a three-hour meal? So this is not... Um, uh, this is, we have to determine if this is direct or indirect relationship. And it's direct because the more time you have to eat, the more chickens you'll be able to eat. So those are moving in the same direction. So at the beginning here, we are told 120 chickens... for a four-hour meal, and then it tells us the relationship chicken eaten per farmer per hour. So the chickens eaten is 120 chickens. By the way, the word per means divided by, which means fraction. Per farmer, said there are five farmers, And then it says, per hour, that happened in four hours. It's a complex fraction, no doubt. And the question is, what would be the total, uh, it says total cost, it should say the total chickens. Typo, fire my secretary. So set this equal to, what would be the total cost total number of chickens, so we don't know what that is, consumed by four farmers during a three-hour meal. So we have this ridiculous complex fraction. The labels are really important to put on at the beginning so you understand how the relationships work. So how do you adjust a complex fraction so it's not complex? Well, there's a couple different ways to think about it. I always like to think about multiplying by 1. If I multiply something by 1, it does not change its value. So if I multiply this by 4 over 4, I'm multiplying this 4 times this, and this 4 times the bottom. Down on the bottom, 4 divided by 4 cancels. On the top, 4 times 120, it's going to be 480. So that's 480 over 5. If I do a similar thing over here, multiply the top and bottom by 3, I'm going to get 3x over 4, because those 3's will cancel. Then, trying to solve this equation, I could cross multiply, multiply both sides by 4 and 5, on the left, I'm going to get 480 times 4, which is 1920. On the right, I get 15x. And if I divide both sides by 15, I'm going to get 128. Question asked, um, what was the total chickens? It would be 128 chickens would be consumed. So let me go back to a point here that you may have found confusing, which was changing a complex fraction to not complex. So if you don't like what I just showed you, another way to look at this is if you have a number like x divided by a fraction like 4 over 3, you can take the top and just multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom, which is going to be 3x over 4. Same thing, different way to look at it. Distance, rate, and time. Distance equals rate times time. Rate is a speed, like miles per hour. Time would be hours in that case, and distance would be in miles. Kelly left Pioli to drive to Cincinnati at 6.15 p.m. and arrived at 11.45 p.m. Well, right now, I think I need to figure out how much time that was. So if I go from 11.45 as my end, and I'm starting at 6.15, and I subtract those, old school style. 
I end up with 5 hours 30 minutes. So instead of being in hours and minutes, it's probably easier just to be in hours. So that's going to be 5.5 hours. So what that first sentence is telling us, this person traveled for 5.5 hours. He, Kelly's a boy, averaged 50 miles per hour while driving and stopped one hour to tip cows. How many miles is Peoli from Cincinnati? Well, the whole trip took five and a half hours, but they stopped one hour for a little cow tipping. So that means the total time driven is actually 4.5 hours. Since distance equals rate times time, and our rate was 50 miles per hour, and our time was 4.5 hours, that means our distance is going to be, when you multiply those, 225 miles. Number two, ODOT log recorded an average of 26 cars per hour passing through Gilmore over a three-day period. At this rate, how many cars would pass through Gilmore in a 24-hour period? Well, we got 24 hours. And we want to figure out what that's going to be, how many um, cars that would be. This here is a rate. Three days, you get 20... Um, I'm sorry, that's not right. So this is the rate. 26 cars every three hours. Pardon me, every one hour. So for every one hour, 26 cars are going to pass by. Once again, this fraction here is the same as one. They are equivalent things. You can always multiply something by one, and it will never change its value. So the hours cancel, so we got 24 times 26, that's 624 cars would pass through here in a 24-hour period. Okay, a couple more problems. During Project X, a student calculated the frequency of screams of 12.3 per square mile and the depth of the forest. Based upon this finding, how many screams should the student expect to hear in 20 square miles? So we get 20 square miles. We're going to multiply this by 1 in the form of a fraction. This is 12.3 screams per square mile. We want the miles to cancel. So we'll put the 12.3 screams on top. That cancels. You got 20 times 12.3, which is 246. That's a lot of screams, folks. It's a lot of screams. Last one, multi-step unit conversion. This is all about multiplying by ones once again. A horse travels at a constant rate of 35 miles per hour. Approximate how many kilometers the horse travels in 20 minutes. So we are trying to convert 20 minutes to kilometers. Well, there's a couple things that we know. We know this rate, 37 miles per hour, which would be written like this. We know this rate, which is 1 kilometer, is 0.62 miles. Now those two rates that I just wrote could be reciprocated. The top could be the bottom, and the bottom could be the top, and they're still equivalent. So we need to first get minutes as a time, but the time that we're trying to get, or the time frame that we're using, is in hours. So if we bring this and change minutes to hours, because we need to be in the same units. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So now we are in hours.
that's great. Now we need to change this 37 miles per hour into miles. So right now we're in 20 hours. So we're going to multiply this. I want the hours to cancel. So we've got one hour on the bottom. 37 miles on top. Now the hours cancel. Now I'm in I'm just straight up in miles. So I'm supposed to figure out how many kilometers I'm supposed to get. Well, I'm going to multiply it by this fraction here. I want the miles to cancel, so I'm going to put 0.62 miles on the bottom and one kilometer on top. Now I'm just straight up in kilometers. If you multiply the top numbers together, let me do that real quick with a calculator, 20 times 37, you get 760 kilometers. Multiply the bottom numbers together, 60 times 0.62, you get 37.2, that has no label because they are all been canceled out. If you divide those, you're going to get approximately 20 kilometers. Sweet. Please do exercise set one of the intermediate